Hey everyone, Duana Olson here. Welcome to the Team Lean Dynasty weekly call. Um, I do not have a, an agenda posted today, but that will not be um, the norm on a weekly basis. I will absolutely provide an agenda so that way you guys know exactly what we're going to be talking about um, on a regular basis and then can bring a notepad or um, offer suggestions during the week if there's something specific that you wanted to talk about. So um, the first thing that I'm going to share is updates from the Team Dynasty call. So we just got off that call, and until I know that a vast majority of my group is able to listen to those calls live, I feel like that's this is a good forum to kind of share those updates and make sure that you guys are informed. So uh, first update is that Super Saturday is coming up. It is going to be April 8th. There are also Super Sundays. So um, this was cool. I didn't realize that this was available, but if you go to www coachfaq.com. From there, you can enter your zip code and find a local event near you. Um, last or In January, I attended one that was in um, like 30 miles away from me, so just in a local area. I've also hosted some here. So the suggestion was if you are um, not a local coach and you are looking for an event and you don't see one, you can host one. So what you would do is you just go to your um, back office and you would uh, register to host your own event. They will send you all the materials and you can invite and um, have people join you to learn a little bit more about what all about and also the highlights of our company and what we've accomplished. In the past month. So that's that. Um, the other thing they talked about is how events are huge and when you're first starting out as a coach, you're inviting and you're posting your own workouts. But when you go to these events like these Super Saturdays, you're now in a room with 10 people, 15 people, 50 people, sometimes 200 people working out. And when you're capturing those moments on video and pictures and sharing that, that, that really kind of piques people's interest. They have been watching your post, but now they see, okay, wait a minute, this, this is a legitimate thing, right? There's people all over the United States doing this. So events are huge. Uh, speaking of events, Summit is coming up. It's July 13th through the 16th. And I thought this was so cool and so exciting. So I know Rena is already booked. Um, I'm hoping to get the rest of you booked to join us. There will be a Team Dynasty meeting. So they already have a room booked. Um, Scotty is expecting 1,500 of the coaches as part of Team Dynasty and all of the, the teams um, that are under Scotty. So everyone on my team and all of the teams that are within that Team Dynasty umbrella, we're going to have a team meeting. It's either going to be Wednesday night or Thursday morning. So the suggestion was if you're coming to Summit, Try to fly out early Wednesday so that you can be there for the event if it is on a Wednesday night. Otherwise, make sure you're coming in very, very early Thursday so you can be there. Uh, they just finished the income search on um, Scotty's channel. So if you guys have not subscribed to Scotty Hobbs on YouTube, his uh, channel, he records all of the meetings, um, tips, his journey as a coach, and he posts it there. The other reason I think this is so beneficial is sometimes we just get so into ourselves, like it's about our training, what's going on with us, but when we're inviting someone and maybe it has nothing to do with Beachbody, but maybe a video that Scotty did about um, his relationship with his wife or how crazy it is having five kids and you're talking with someone who's kind of going through the same thing, you can then be a friend and recommend, hey, there's a video on YouTube that might help you. So making sure that we are a little bit more diversified in how we're trying to reach people and how we're trying to support people's goals. That was kind of a good suggestion. Um, this coming Monday and all of next week is the um, uh, Team Dynasty Surge Inviting Training. So he has a top coach on every day of the week next week sharing 30 minutes or less how to invite. So they're going to be sharing scripts. They're going to be sharing how to follow up. This is really huge, especially for the newer coaches on the team, because you can hear from the experts um, what's worked for them, what hasn't worked for them. And then obviously nothing should be used verbatim, but if you find something that resonates with you, you can tweak it and then start to use it and see if that works for you. So again, you have to be added to that group. So if you want to be part of that group, you have to make sure that you're going to the Team Dynasty page and then finding the surge um, promotional uh, post and then putting your name on there so he can add you. That's a great All right, so... Today's, um, today's uh, meeting, I wanted to be, just kind of share a little bit about Deborah Baska. Uh, she is a top coach with uh, Team Beachbody. She's an elite coach. And her, um, her presentation today was about how to not be a salesperson, how to be an effective coach without being salesy. Uh, a little bit about her story. She said that she struggled with alcoholism 
and struggled with working as an executive for 20 years with a company. She was traveling, her kids were in school at that time, now they're both in college, but um, trying to manage a marriage, trying to manage, she would do it all, right? She was uh, taking classes at night, she since became a fitness instructor. So I re- her, she piqued my interest because it sounds very similar to my story. And she came, she knew her health was starting to fall by the wayside, she needed to do something, so she started P90X with her husband. Um, saw someone who was posting results and also Shakeology about with P90X, asked about it. And she said that she was doing the um, Walmart shakes and had no idea that there was anything with better quality out there. She was just doing it because it was cheap and when we're all desperate to lose weight, that's that's the route that we go, right? So her coach introduced her to Shakeology. She didn't like it at first. And so we all kind of had a laugh because she made it wrong and then Scotty chimed in and he made it wrong. And I, I don't think I liked it when I first tried it. Um, and, but what got her was the, the, the ingredients, you know, she really uh, was impressed by everything that was in it. And then the, she also said this, what I thought was so cool. Um, during her workouts with uh, Sean T or Shalene Johnson, like they would call her an athlete. They would use that word athlete. And that's what really got inside of her head. She goes, well, if I'm an athlete, I need to feel my body. Right. And then Beachbody in their wisdom at the end of the workouts. Now we're talking about Shakeology. So anyone who's on Beachbody on demand, we're constantly seeing what's going on with Shakeology or, and they are sharing the benefit of it for us as coaches. So that's what really drove her to want to stick with it. She's like, okay, if this is the best thing I could be putting into my body, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick with it. And then if I'm going to stay on it, then obviously I want the discount as a coach. That helped her get her journey started. Um, she uh, started, she said that she has hit success club five when she first started as a coach. And then she progressed to success club 10. So in her uh, three years as a coach, she has hit success club every single month. And she said that she's an inviting queen. She invites, 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 and she always has a group running that she can invite to, which is obviously, right? You, if we're not working out and we're not eating right and we're not living our healthy journey, it's going to be really hard for us to want to run groups, number one, but also what are we inviting people to? So that's why it's so important every month to have that set date on where you're going to start your groups. So in order to not be a salesperson, this is what her script that she used. She said, um, She's always posting about her group. So at least twice a month, she's sharing, I have an upcoming group that's starting. So she assumes that the people she's inviting have never seen any of her posts, which I thought was kind of brilliant. That's what we do wrong. When we try to invite somebody or we're messaging someone, we assume that they see all of our posts and they've already decided they don't want to be a part of it. We need to flip it. We need to go in with the mindset that they're no longer on Facebook. They gave it up for lunch. They haven't seen anything. So when we approach them, we're saying, I just wanted to make sure that you saw I'm starting a new challenge group on April 6th. Do you have any health goals that you were looking to tackle for this month? Question, ending with the question. So the reason she says that that has worked so well for her is even if they have, don't mention anything about the challenge group, everyone typically has something health related that they're trying to work on. What she gets back majority is, you know, they'll say, yeah, I'm always seeing you posting about this and I am looking to do this. And then they get engaged in a conversation. The beautiful thing that I love the way she said this is there's so many times when people will say, no, I'm not interested because I love my CrossFit or I love going to the gym, whatever it is they're doing on their own. What you don't want to do is not be a friend. You don't want to not be their supporter. And I'm so big on that, especially because I love what I do. I love teaching. I love being a coach at Orange Theory Fitness, but this is my career. I I totally get that. Me helping other people change their lives through fitness because they're terrified of going to a gym as I was in 2008, which is how my whole Beachbody journey started, or they are looking to earn a significant income without having to leave their kids at a daycare or to supplement what they already do, or because they love the idea of getting out of a dead end job. No gym can do that for them. So I loved how she said that no matter how they respond, be that person's biggest supporter and their cheerleader and their friend. Because at the end of the day, when whatever they're doing just gets old or it's not working or they just don't have that sense of community that we do in, as Team Beach Body coaches, they don't have that daily support that we do as Team Beach Body coaches. The gyms don't offer the nutrition or the meal preparation or the portions that we do. They will come back to us. We are the face and the voice that they're going to remember because we were authentic and kind and we support them. Um, when you are inviting uh, people, you want to make sure your, your goal is to try to understand what they're going through. And you can't do that unless you ask those questions. So again, how many fit, fitness goals? Do you have any health goals that you're looking to tackle this month? I really like the word, the way that she would. Um, and then you just take it from there. So 
So the point I made earlier was there won't be one specific script that will work well for everyone or will be responded to by the same way. Um, you just have to find what works for you. This one really resonated with me. I really like that and I'm going to use it today in my invite. So, um, any questions? Uh, obviously, you can uh, post it on the team page. But this is our official first meeting uh, as Lean Dynasty under Team Dynasty. Um, thank you guys for being a part of my journey and also being so inspirational in the fact that you're sharing your journey and helping others. Um, it's only going to pay us back tenfold, twentyfold, fiftyfold. All right, team. I will talk to you soon. Everyone have a wonderful day.